My name's David, I've come here today to talk about uh, recovery. We're actually in a place called Barrow in Furness and we come to talk to the guys here at Unita and talk about their recovery and talk about their journey through the service and where they're at today. So yeah, we hope you enjoy the show and we'll leave it there. Thank you. First time I came through the doors, I can't even remember it because my family brought me. But that was the first time when I got prescribed and balanced on this prescription. But then that lasted for some time and I went back at it and I was I was a dog warden and I was working and I was using all the time. And then it probably another five years passed in addiction and I, and that's when I really wanted help and I started coming here. I used to sneak out from work and come here, come to acupuncture, come to the groups, just try to reduce my benzos to do a to a level I could come off. And this went on for ages and in the end I just got really, really bad and I kept overdosing and I lost my job and everything went down the pan. And that's when I was coming and begging to go to rehab and I did and I went to rehab for eight months. And that really done a job for me. And then I come home and I started volunteering here and at the rehab. And I just went from there really and I, that's how I began the apprenticeship here and it's been amazing really. Yeah. Rock bottom. I think the worst time was when when I still had a job and I was go to work every day and that kept me going but as soon as that went, and then I was just scratching around, then I really had nothing to do. It's hard to go, it's hard to remember back, really. Um, but when I was rock bottom, that lasted for a long time, and I was trying to get periods of being straight on my own, because I didn't really know what groups could do for you at that time, I was naive to all that. So. It was, I think the longest I could get was a week, and then it was just—it was just hell every day waking up and having to score to feel all right, and all of it was hell. Um, as I say, I found out about Unity when I was dragged in here by my family first, but then I didn't really start taking it serious till I needed it to be serious, you know. And then I discovered Smart Recovery, and I was coming. And that would that was on once a week at the time, and when I've discovered that, that really gave me some hope, you know. And I started learning little bits. That's where I first started learning. And uh, Smart did a lot for me, yeah, early doors. And then I discovered more groups as time went on. Well, in every way, it's helped me uh, build me confidence again. It's built me right up, really, from coming here. I don't know what I'd have done without it. I don't know what the answer would have been. Because at the time when I was trying to get well, I had no idea about recovery, didn't know what it meant, didn't know anything about it. So all of it, the last three years, has just been massive learning and rebuilding, really. And knowing there's always somebody to help you or guide you, whatever you might be struggling with. Now I'm a support worker here, but previous to that, last 18 months I've been an apprentice here. And that all came from volunteering, really. But uh, at Unity, I support people, whether it be on a one-to-one -one basis or in groups, a lot of group work. And I've been doing that for 18 months. Volunteered about seven months before that. And then now I'm a support worker. And it's all developing myself, helping others. It's all positive stuff. My hope for the future is just to keep doing what I'm doing and just continue to do what I do and help people and let people help me as well. It's just a great place to be. You know, it's, it's a safe place for people, myself included. <laughs>